Galileo Sky Trackers with one wire interface support connection of different sensors, including connection to iButton and RFID readers. Both types support the same connection schemes and settings. Let's have a closer look. These readers can be applied for the following identification of drivers, vehicles, or other objects, signaling, enabling, and disabling or turning external devices on or off via outputs. Connection schemes of the readers on the screen. The readers can be powered via one-wire interface by parasitic power, or power can be supplied externally depending on the used readers. Once the key is attached, the tracker writes the value of the key into its memory, saves an extra point, and sets the key to the server. When the key is detached, the tracker deletes the key from the memory, saves an extra point, and sends it to the server. Once detached from the reader, the ID of the key will be temporarily saved in the tracker memory and will be deleted after a certain period. It can be set on the tab Settings – Digital Inputs in the fields Detached Timeout for keys with ID 100,000 and larger and Detached Timeout for keys with the number less than 100,000. Both values are equal to 4 seconds by default. The IDs of keys can be saved as trusted for further use in the signaling settings or easy logic scripts. The list of trusted keys can be saved in the internal memory up to 8 values or to micro SD card up to 1000 values. In order to add the key to the trusted keys list in the internal memory, do the following. Connect the key to the reader. In the configurator program, the device tab will show both decimal and hexadecimal values of the ID. Copy the hexadecimal value. Go to the Settings – Digital Inputs tab and enter the key ID in one of the trusted key slots. Press Apply button. You can repeat this procedure if you need to add a new key or replace an existing ID. Once a trusted key from the internal memory list is attached, the I button state value on the Device tab will change, showing which of the trusted keys is attached at the moment. In order to add the key to the trusted keys list on the microSD card, do the following. Extract the microSD card from the tracker and connect it to PC. In the configurator program, choose the I button tab. In the source list, in the upper right corner, choose the microSD card. Enter the IDs of the keys. They may be entered in either decimal or hexadecimal type. The second type will be filled automatically. Press Save to card. The keys list will be saved in the root of the card and will have a name keys.bin. It can be copied and then used on other microSD cards in other trackers. In order to send data containing the iButton IDs received from the readers, go to the Settings – Protocol tab in the Configurator program and choose the following parameters in the main packet. Device status, iButton, iButton2 and iButton state. The device status in its second bit contains information if a trusted key from the microSD card was read or not. The iButton state shows which trusted keys from the internal memory are attached. iButton and iButton2 fields display first and second keys being read respectively. Once the data about the iButton keys are sent to the monitoring software, they arrive in several tags – iButton code, AVL driver, trailer ID and iButtons iButton code and AVL driver are for iButton value, trailer ID for iButton2 value. iButtons show the iButton state in decimal mode. Finally, let's look at how we can work with iButton keys inside the tracker. It can be set in two ways, using signaling tab and using easy logic algorithms. On the signaling tab, choose the use iButtons option and you will see all available patterns for using iButton keys. For example, let's choose the option Enables and Disables Signaling by Trusted Key Attachment. Now the first attachment will enable signaling mode, and the next attachment will disable it. After that, all you need to do is to set reaction to signaling activation and deactivation, for example, sending impulses from output 0. On the Easy Logic tab, the I button key is usually used for a similar purpose to control outputs. The trusted keys are checked in the following way. If the trusted keys list is on the microSD card, 
the algorithm checks bit2 in the status variable, and if it's not zero, a trusted key is attached. If the trusted keys list is in the internal memory, we check the button state variable. It will be more than zero if at least one trusted key is attached. If we need to check any key, trust it or not, then we simply check variables iButton0 and iButton1. Next, we can set any reaction we need, for example, changing the output state. Setting up iButton keys reading is completed. The tracker is ready for use.